We're at the Cyber Mines launch in Victoria, and with me I have John O'Driscoll, the Department of Justice, CISO uh, for the Victorian Government. That's great. So, uh, can you just tell us a bit about your job and the stresses and pressures that come with being a CISO for a major organisation? Sure. Um, I guess no two days are the same, um, and you know, I guess a lot of um, cyber issues are impacted by technology, mm -hmm. um, and technology is changing so rapidly mm -hmm. um, that you know, I guess the um, issues that we're going to be needing to protect ourselves from in five years' time, we probably don't know at mm -hmm. the moment. So sometimes you think, oh, how can I ever get on top of it? you just got to start um, and get active um, today and be prepared to accept uncertainty because I think that's the, the nature of our profession. So um, working in the Department of Justice in the Victorian Government, it's a tremendous privilege and, and honour. Mm. And so my role now is to be able to set up a, uh, an effective cybersecurity practice that covers the justice portfolio. There's about 96 entities that are brought in through that. Mm. So um, amazing opportunity, I can say that, because I've only been in that role for five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, people in our profession want to be able to make a difference. Which and so I have that. an opportunity now, so it's up to me to be able to deliver on that. Yeah. And so how did you find out about CyberMines? Um, I, I spoke to Peter um, earlier this year. I'm not sure what event, but um, he was talking me through it. And you know, I, you know, I'm aware there's been people that I've worked with that have exited cyber because it is quite demanding. Mm. And working in government, um, I'm, I'm really committed to providing a safe and reliable um, environment for staff and to be able to attract and retain good talent in government is sometimes challenging and I think it's up to us as a, as a management function to recognise the issues that can have a negative impact on our staff. They're people, just yeah, like us. Um, and then. It's one thing to recognise it, but what are you going to do about it? So when Peter was talking Very about this initiative, I thought, wow, um, that's that's really powerful. Yeah. And something, that was my reaction to it. Yeah, and something that I'd like to get involved in in some way. Mm. And it was great to hear from him earlier tonight to say that, you know, conversation we had actually inspired him a bit to keep going. Yeah. So um, the next thing is, you know, I'd love to be able to be a proof of concept be able to trial it, um, this protocol in our environment. Um, it'll be good for me, it'll be awesome for my teams, and it'll be even better for the community because um, you know, safe and reliable delivery of government services rely on people like us to be able to help with that. So I guess a pilot program is the next step. So when do you think you will want to start implementing it? Um, well, now that I've moved into justice, I have an opportunity to come up with a cyber strategy. Um, and so you know, the people element is a piece of that. Like any um, role, there's lots of things to work on, so it's a case of which ones. And um, so I think there's real merit in this. And I think it's a program that we could actually trigger and initiate um, without a great deal of time or, or cost. Mm. Um, all it needs is effort and yes. commitment. Yes, absolutely. And. Uh, we, we had uh, a number of speakers on the panel today. What were some of the, the points that really stood out to you that you hadn't necessarily heard before that were reinforced from what yeah. you had already understood? Well, I, I think the research um, and data-driven um, insight is really important, so it was great to, to hear about that. Sometimes I get surveyed to death, but I'm going to scan yeah. that QR code and I'm actually going to do it tonight, yeah, which is really important. And then I guess Kevin Shaw was open and honest in saying that you know, there's been some negative impacts on him as a, as a human. Mm. And I think it's good that you know, people are prepared to come out and say that because there's a lot of people sitting around mm. um, that are going, that's me. Yeah. Yep. And somebody else um, in the leadership role is prepared to recognise that. Um, so I think that's really powerful. I say to my team, the bad guys collaborate really well to do us harm. And if we don't collaborate, um, we're always going to find it so much more difficult to keep pace um, with our threat actors. So what's your final message to the people who are watching right now across Australia and the world? People are important. So people, process and technology. So um, when you're fortunate enough to recruit people that want to work for you, um, you have an obligation to protect them and look at, at after them and, and help 
them to grow as individuals. And um, mental health is as important, maybe even more important, than physical health. And so recognising that there are issues um, and now having some protocols to, to trial, um, why wouldn't we give the shot? Absolutely. Well, John O'Driscoll, CISO at the Department of Justice, Victorian Government, thank you so much for your time and best of luck with implementing CyberMines. Pleasure. Thanks, Alex. Thank